it's interesting we spoke about, you know, the world of Harry Potter versus the world of Now You See Me. It's so different because illusionism yeah. is about performance. Right. And when it's magic, it was something a little bit more introvert, yeah. wasn't it? Well, also it's... Um yeah, it's about it's you know the 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 magic in in the in the Potter films and, and the whole world of the Potter films is entirely different and this is a, a much more grounded in reality and kind of close up magic and um, what I mean what's fun about this I feel like is that uh, this is much you know in in magic in in Potter magic was just like a part of the world whereas in these films it's sort of the magic these guys can do is sort of equivalent to their superpowers. Like that's what makes them like that's their superhero skill is they're amazing at sleight of hand or or mentalism or whatever it is. So it's it's you know that to me that's a very cool use of of the idea of magic. And and your character Walter seems to think that the disappearance, I mean, the kind of being under the radar, is yeah. the best skill in this day and age with social media and everything. Yes. How do you think that resonates in the world we're living in today? I mean, I think there's going to be there's. I mean, if you if you can have that much uh, as much power as Walter does and remain that invisible, that is yeah. a truly terrifying combination. I feel like. Nobody should have that much power without a little bit of accountability. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel like there's, we're gonna see more people, I mean, like, you know, in that way, it's unfortunately the only way I'm quite similar to my character and it's probably just because I don't, you know, I don't have a, a, a flashy a, life, a, a very yeah. flashy life or, or, you know, social media presence or anything like that particularly. Like I keep all that kind of stuff quite basic just because it's, it's much simpler, it's much easier to live a life like that, I think. And you're very present without being there yourself. This is what's weird about the world we're living in. You're all right. over social media without having your own. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, probably. I don't even mean to be, so I'm sorry. That's the thing, like, I feel like as an actor, you you know, if you're promoting a film or if, just, or if not, as you, you say, like, you, you tend to kind of invade people's lives. Like, they can't get away from you for a month. Like, this month I've got... You know, I'm promoting this, and I'm also promoting another movie, and like it's it's you know you're gonna I'm gonna annoy people with how much I am around eventually, um, so I feel like when you can like just withdraw yourself from people's consciousness is probably a good thing. I don't think you annoy anyone. Oh, well, <laughs> Everybody's we'll always see. very happy to see you. <laughs> how much does the company you keep in a film uh, become a kind of a deciding factor in in the roles that you've been choosing? Um, it's I mean. With a role like with with this yeah. film, it was a huge factor just because I love so many of the people who were in this film. Michael Caine, obviously, but also like you know Woody and Mark and uh, and Dave and Jesse and Lizzie, like they're all people that I have huge amounts of respect for and 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 um, and really enjoyed working with. And um, so yeah, it, it was you know it's not always a deciding factor. Like I, it doesn't mm. always matter to me. Like if the script is. Is, is good in the part something interesting then it doesn't really matter who else is in it but with with a film like this it was obviously a huge added incentive to get to work with so many people that I loved and and finally how much was magic part of your childhood where you want to like rabbits out of hats oh no I definitely had like a, a Marvin's magic kit which is the other like the, the most basic kind of um, cheapest brand thing you can get when you're like six I had like a uh, thing and I wanted to be wanted to be really good at it. wasn't really ever. I can I picked up a few tricks on the Potter set which I can still like break out and I'll still like bust them out when I'm sure like if I have kids and stuff then they'll you know that'll give me a bit of uh, a bit of mileage out of them. But generally speaking, it's it was I was not good enough. <laughs> really it's practice. practice, practice.